Hello guys! In this brief video, I will download and install AutoCAD 2024. The easiest way to download installation files are from autodesk.com slash AutoCAD. And from here you can find the most recent version, which is currently 2024. So you just hit download free trial. You then need to have an Autodesk account. To create one, create account is free. But obviously, if you are a current subscriber, then you can use already your current Autodesk account as well. So this is also true for me. I use my current Autodesk account. But at this stage, I'm not yet activating the product. I will leave that for the future, meaning that I will just download and install my product. For example, for trial use. So next also password, and now I have to fill in some additional information. Anything works, you don't have to spend too much time in here. Next again, you can then include some information about your company. Next again, and now you have options how you want to download installation files. You see, first of all, I can see 2024 English, but then this little arrow, I can install or download. I suggest to download because in this case you have all files in your computer and then you can install it at later step as well or into different machine. Now option install means that you just download small amount of data and then during installation you still need to have good internet connection and those files will be downloaded to some automatic location and it's not so easy. It can be but it's not so easy to move those files to, let's say, portable drive and, and um, for example, to install to next machine or next time as well. So download, yes, but POST works quite well. If you just quickly need to install the product, then install works quite perfectly. So download. Now, depending on the size of installation files, you will be presented several save as dialogues Please note also the file extension, it's EXE, and also the number, which means that in my case I should download my AutoCAD 2024 in two separate files and then I will extract and install. And of course pop-ups should be enabled, otherwise you don't get those save as dialogues. I will create some new catalog, new folder, and then I hit save. So this is my 0102, save, and now I get the second dialog to the same location. Now this is 2 out of 2, save again, and now it will be downloaded into my hard drive. It can be also portable drive, but let's wait once those files are ready and we will continue the installation procedure. Just some more seconds to go. And then let's take a look how we can continue from here. As you see, I do have two files in my AutoCAD download folder. I just need to double click on this number one and I will extract my installation files. So this method will take some time. If you just um, start installation by using the first option, install option, then you can get to the installation procedure a bit quicker. But now I just prepare my installation files also for future installation. So let's pick extraction folder. Again, it can be the same as I'm currently in. I then select OK and I should see that extraction will open up those two files and I can then continue with my installation. So some more seconds to go. And actually, you should get automatically installation screen. Let's see it. So Autodesk install, preparing for installation. Let's wait a bit. So I need to allow in my windows. Do I want to fire up my EXE file? So yes. And then I should have a license screen. So you have to agree with it. I agree. And next. And then I can select to where I want to install my AutoCAD 2024. I usually recommend default location, so program files and Autodesk. You can also continue or install 
your AutoCAD at later step because all you need is this yellow folder. From here you can find setup.exe which was currently automatically fired up and you can also safely move this folder to portable drive. You don't need those exe files anymore if your extraction went well. So you just need to have this folder for the future installations. Let's continue. I hit install and maybe I just make those screens smaller so that I can see my desktop. The installation itself should be quite quick because uh, it's just AutoCAD. No additional contents like, like I showed you, AutoCAD Architecture, AutoCAD MEP, so just AutoCAD. I can add those packages to say at late today, but now just AutoCAD. Almost ready. And I can see that also AutoCAD 2024 icon will be available at my desktop. And basically that's it, because I can already fire up my AutoCAD, unless I need to restart my computer. Quite often, if it's your first installation in terms of the series, like 2024, it may require that you need to restart your computer. So let's do that and we will come back shortly. Okay, our machine is up and running again. And um, let's now fire up AutoCAD 2024 first time just by double clicking on this icon. Because I do have previous version installed as well, I will get my great custom settings screen, but let's skip this time, so cancel. And now my AutoCAD 2024 starts. Okay, from this screen, I can use my Autodesk ID, which I used previously to download. I can also enter serial number to activate my product if I'm already current subscriber. But at the moment, yes, I do need to sign in. So I get the notification, I'm signed in, go to product, open Autodesk Identification Manager. And now I can see the screen that uh, I'm in trial mode. So this is probably the first time in where I have to log in also in AutoCAD to get started with my trial version. It takes a bit additional time, but uh, never mind. Um, now it's done. I can just close those marketing screens at the moment. 30 days left. I close this screen as well. I can see my trial ends in 30 days also from this right hand corner. And by clicking on it, I can also open up this same screen and I can also activate my product. Let's quickly Create a new drawing in AutoCAD 2024. This is your current desktop. You can create new drawing by clicking new, browse templates. You can also find new from this quick access bar. You can also create new drawing from red icon and new. So several options. I click new and browse templates. And from this view, I can simply select which drawing template I want to use. For example, drawing template sets my unit system. Is it metric? Is it US based? So I select, for example, ACAD ISO. DWT is template extension. I hit open. And now based on this template, new drawing will be created. By default, it's drawing one, drawing two, but I can quickly save it to my computer just by right-clicking this drawing and save as. And in this case, I'm already having a TWG as an AutoCAD file extension. I can also see what are drawing file versions. We can see that most recent drawing extension or drawing version is still 2018. So don't mess up this 2018 and 2024. They do mean different things. And maybe I just save it to my desktop save. Okay, so that's how you download, install and run AutoCAD 2024. Have a successful learning of AutoCAD 2024. Bye bye.